Iran and Israel had a friendly cooperative relationship more than 30 years after a Jewish state was born. Even Iranian Revolution in 1979, when Iran abruptly cut off diplomatic ties with Israel, military cooperation between the two countries continued for several years because Tehran needed Tel Aviv to supply weapons for the war with Iraq. Iran and Israel do not have mutual borders, do not have territorial disputes. Jews have lived in Iran for about 2,700 years because it is a safe land especially under the reign of Cyrus the Great in the 6th century BC. So, why were Iran and Israel from best friends to sworn enemies? After Israel gained independence in 1948, when Iran suppressed the Jewish citizens in the country, many people fled to Iran to resettle in Israel. Iran had an important role as a base for Jewish escapes. In 1947, Iran voted against the United Nations partition plan for Palestine and after the establishment of Israel, Tehran opposed Israel's membership in the United Nations. However, in 1950, Iran became the second Muslim country in the world to recognize the state of Israel. For Iran, Israel is a bridge through the Jewish community to obtain the United States aid. The United States was looking for allies in the war with the Soviet Union. Even during the Cold War, Iran was an important oil supplier and controlled access to the Persian Gulf. So Iran became an ally of the United States. Inside Iran, the Islamic forces demanded that Iranian religious leaders join the Arab tradition in the war against Israel. This was confused by the pro-American Mohammed faction. Israel has been trying to strengthen its relationship with its enemies, Iran and Turkey. Based on that relationship, Iran sold oil to Israel. Tehran also became an importer of Israel's goods and services, not only in agriculture, population, healthcare, infrastructure, but also training facilities. Israeli intelligence agency The Israeli government under Benjamin persuaded the United States to withdraw from the 2015 nuclear deal with Iran. But just two years before the Islamic Revolution, Iran and Israel collaborated on the project to develop a missile that could carry a nuclear warhead. Nasser's death in 1970 and Anwar Sadat raised Iran's threat to the Iraq war. Furthermore, the signing of the agreement between Iran and Iraq in 1975 in which Iran ceased arming the Kurdish separatists in Iraq reduced hostilities between these two countries, while the clerics in Iran continued to spread ideologies against Israel. So, when the monarchy was overthrown in 1979, the Mohammed regime was replaced by the Ruhollah Khomeini. Ruhollah lived in France. He came back to Iran on February 1, 1979, just three weeks later. He severed diplomatic relations with Israel. He also turned the Israeli embassy into the headquarters of the Palestine Liberation Organization. But the Iran-Israel relationship continued until 1980s because Iran under Ruhollah Khomeini was embroiled in open conflict with Saddam Hussein's Iraq. Between 1981 and 1983, Iran sold down $500 million to Israel, most of which was paid for in oil. After the collapse of the Soviet Union and the defeat of Saddam Hussein's regime in the 1991 Gulf War, Iran's threat was America, followed by Israel. In the 1990s, the war between Tehran and Jerusalem became more and more menacing. Iran also becomes a threat to Israel. Iran's plan to develop nuclear weapons is a major concern. In 1987, Israel Prime Minister Rabin claimed Iran was best friend, but just a few years later, he mentioned Tehran's dark, murderous regime. In 1996, Israeli Prime Minister Shimon Peres accused the Islamic regime of being more dangerous than Hitler. The War of the Worlds reached its zenith under Iranian President Mohammad Ahmadinejad 2003-2005. He called for destruction of Israel and denied the Nazi Holocaust. Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu has pushed the United States to strike Iranian sites linked to its nuclear program.
Today, Arsenal intervenes in the conflicts in Syria to prevent Iranian influence there. Tel Aviv has been virtually free to launch attacks against Iranian targets in Syrian territory. An archery attack on September 17, 2018 caused a Russian reconnaissance plane to be mistakenly shot down by a Syrian anti-aircraft missile, killing 15 people. The United States and its allies continuously pressured Iran, along with attacks between Iran and Israel in the Golan. Do confrontations between Iran and Israel happen? Tensions between Iran and Israel have escalated due to Israel's concern about Tehran's expanded military presence in Syria. Tensions continue to rise when Israeli war plans dropped dozens of missiles on Iranian bases in Syria on May 10, 2018 in response to accusations that Iran launched 20 missiles and military positions. Israel on the Golan Heights, in fact, Iran and Israel just want to control each other's role in the region and do not want things to go too far. And our video ends here. Thank you for watching and see ya next time.